Hi guys and welcome back to Tech Anorak. So I've got another historical sort of video for you today with a bit of drone footage and a lot of camera work with my DJI um, Osmo Pocket. So this is the Lancashire Mining Museum at Astley Green and um, it's a really nice site. It's all been preserved by local volunteers basically and it's got claim to the oldest um, headland which is that big winch looking machine um, so it's the oldest headgear in Europe apparently and it's the highest one um, it stands at 98 feet so basically the building opposite the big frame that turned the wheels that you can see on the frame which um, took men down into the mines and back up and also mine carts so I'm no um, expert on mining it's just I'm really interested in the Victorian era and history in general but I've come along here it's it's totally free to get in I'm not you know affiliated with them it's just I decided to go spur of the moment type thing but I definitely recommend going guys it's as I say free to get in I gave them a little donation while I was there and I asked permission to film and fly the drone um, they did say we don't want you flying the drone because there was quite a lot of people around so I put the drone up afterwards uh, from the little village green and yet yeah, you know not not endangering anybody basically okay so I flip the camera around to this big frame now and uh, yeah not many mines still up like this I think everything's been torn down in a lot of places in Lancashire but um, yeah really interesting place so unfortunately I'm, I'm not going to use the drone today I've been asked at the information desk and obviously there's a lot of people around so they didn't want me putting a drone up so fair enough but um, I think we'll get some nice footage anyway it's a like I say a historic place and should be interesting might even get a little train ride as well guys here's the original train lines for the mines and some cars over there So this little train's not the original ones the miners would have used, it's a diesel train. They would have used steam locomotives um, from, from that period. having a little train ride now guys so this is the last one of the day so I was having a chat with um, a few of the workers here and, and some people who've come to view the, the mines as well and um, yeah it'd, it'd be a very hard life being a miner I think um, I think the, the biggest trouble I have is if my computer's running slow on my internet they had um, cave-ins and you know disasters I think every pit's had a disaster in the UK you know um, five died here apparently and We'll go into a bit more detail about that. So yeah, in 1939, five men unfortunately lost their lives when a fire broke out in the pit. And um, apparently, when I've looked into this, to, to be classed as a mining disaster, it has to be at least five men lost. So if only four men died or below, that wouldn't have been classed as a mining disaster. That's just another day on the job, which is really scary. You know, times back then, how things had changed. But um, yeah, to all miners, you know, anyone who's been down in the pit and worked to get coal, you know, for others to use, the the brave, they're as brave as soldiers to me. <laughs>
So we've turned back around now on my little train trip. And uh, just to explain guys, this isn't the original line apparently uh, that the miners were used. Um, you'll see that in a second when um, I turn my camera to the left, I'll show you. But these lines, um, they were used to haul all the coal down to the uh, Leeds Liverpool um, canal so that the coal could be transported to wherever to Manchester, Liverpool, London, you know, and, and further afield. Okay, so we're just coming up on this other line in a moment, so you'll see a gradient and the, there's plans to get this line working as well. Um, it needs restoring because apparently all the, um, the boards below the tracks would be rotten, but you'll see it in a sec guys when we start going. making my way up to the engine house now or the winding house whatever's the correct term and again I'm, I'm no you know authority I'm not um, a historian on mining or the Victorian era I just enjoy history so I'll shut up for a bit guys and let you have a look around the museum from Berry. that's quite interesting. I was born in Berry.
Alright boys, how's it going today? Oh, it's bad lad. So I'm just coming up to um, a miner's cottage uh, that they, they dressed up basically for the site and interesting to me, there's, um, the designer is Alan Shaw who is a set designer on Peaky Blinders so you know he's, he's obviously really good at nailing that Victorian era and uh, you'll see his name up here so Shaw's Yard. So we'll finish off with a bit of drone footage. If you look in the distance, um, you can see Manchester Town Centre and to the right when we pan, you'll also see the, the Chill Factor, uh, which is at Trafford Park or, you know, near the Trafford Centre. But yeah, I really recommend this as a day out, guys, the Lancashire Mining Museum. Um, even if you're not that interested in history, it's, you know, a good thing to show kids. You know, they wouldn't imagine anyone would ever go down into mines and they probably don't even know what coal is. But yeah, if you can as well, like I say, I'm not affiliated with them, but I donated a bit of money and you know it'd be nice to try and save this place so thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed this one as always oh before I go as well uh, for my DJI Mini 2 owners the um, landing gear is not very long on the Mini 2 and the grass here is quite long uh, where I'm landing so 
I don't like doing them, but I've um, let it hover and then, you know, grab the drone out of the sky, uh, which, well, not out of the sky, but, you know, from where it's hovering. So you'll see it go upside down in a second, but I really need to buy some um, landing gear extensions. So I think fancy the PGY tech ones. Um, you'll have to let me know what you think of those guys if you've got anything similar. Thanks for watching. Take care.